Hey, how's it going everyone? This is the Anime Man. Hands up if you're watching this video right now and have ever attempted to draw anime art in your spare time. Okay. Keep your hands up if you have ever or are attending art school or have ever shown your art teacher in school your anime art. I'm sure there are a lot of you who are keeping your hands up and it's really not all that surprising, especially if you're a fan of anime, which you should be if you're watching this video because otherwise why are you here? I'll admit I also had that stage in my life where I watched a particular anime series or a few anime series and thought to myself, oh hell yeah, I can draw anime art, yo, I got this shit. And then gave up almost immediately because I realized very quickly that I have the hand-eye coordination of a snake. Snakes don't have hands. So I'm coming into this particular discussion piece not from the point of view of any kind of anime artist or artist at all, but rather a more self-proclaimed anime and otaku culture nerd. I've been seeing that there has been some rumors spreading about in the last couple of years in the anime and otaku community of people who attend art schools or have shown their anime art in art schools or to their art teachers in just regular schools and a lot of them ending in their art teachers actually discouraging them from drawing anime art. There are even some stories claiming of art students who are writing up their portfolios and projects for after graduation whose art teachers have completely banned anime art from those kinds of projects. And as a sucker for any kind of anime fan art, my first response to this whole thing was... Oh fuck no. How fucking dare you ban anime art from any kind of art school? You racist f fucks. Anime is a totally legitimate form of art and artists should have the freedom to draw whatever the fuck they want. Hashtag free the waifus. But then I stopped to think about it for a hot minute as to why there might be this potential banning of anime art from art classes and art schools. And now that I thought about it, I'm concluding that this whole banning of anime art kind of makes sense. And as much as I and many others don't want to admit it, I can't really blame art teachers in the West for shunning anime art from classes and schools. So let's explore why that might be the case. Now I don't think you need to be any kind of a Picasso to understand this, but fundamentally anime art is anatomically whack as fuck. Take any example of any kind of basic anime art and you can see why. I mean, we've got your obvious points like the large eyes, the large head, hairstyles that seem to defy the teachings of Newton in any possible way. And while this may be a good reason for the banning of anime art, you have to take into consideration that a lot of Western artists that are known more as the professional artists and art styles that you should look up to, like Picasso's Cubist art style for example, is also not really sucking the dick of anatomical faith anytime soon. So why is stuff like Picasso's cubism okay but anime art is not? Well I think the biggest problem is that unlike Picasso, anime art in the West especially is very much still a niche. You can show any art teacher a Salvador Dali painting and they'll probably be able to tell you Dali's life story leading up to that particular art piece. But if you gave them an art piece of Sayori during Nekopara, then they'll probably just question your sexual fetishes before asking who made it. One thing you do have to understand is that artists like Picasso are known for multiple art styles, not just cubism. And that artists like Dali have a lot of meaning behind their paintings and a lot of anatomical structure behind their paintings. Whereas your fan art of me, for example, doesn't exactly have any kind of meaning behind it or doesn't exactly follow any kind of fundamental structure of anatomy in art. Not that I'm saying your fan art is unappreciated. Don't you ever fucking dare think that is the case. I love every single piece of fan art you guys have ever fucking given me and if you stop drawing fan art, I will cry. I love you all. But then at this point you might be yelling at your screen. But Joey, anime has multiple art styles as well! And you know what? You're very right. I think one thing that makes anime really interesting and fun to look at is that it does have multiple art styles. You have your basic like this is anime kind of art styles like High School DD and Bleach for example. To your more experimental and not so anime like styles like Ping Pong and Kaiba. But here's a question for you. How many people who attend art classes or start drawing anime art, draw in the style 
of ping pong and kaiba. I assume it's not a whole lot. When people first start to draw anime art, it's usually more of the mainstream, this is anime style, like High School DD and Bleach. Because those kinds of anime are usually the first ones we are exposed to. So to your Western art teacher who doesn't know the first thing about anime having multiple art styles, your generic High School DD Bleach type of art style is the only art style in anime. And it's not only one style, but it is the one style that is anatomically incorrect, has very little meaning, and very little variation. If you gave your art teacher anime art in the style of Pantheon Stocking or the Akunohana anime adaptation, then there is a possibility that your art teacher might not even blink an eye at your anime art. Look at artists like Murakami Takashi, for example. He's a Japanese artist who successfully blended Japanese anime and ukiyo-e styles and incorporated that with the more sophisticated and structured Western style of paintings and sculptures to create what is ultimately a very Japanese-oriented anime-styled kind of artwork, but got him the Western recognition and got him to have his own museums and art pieces, which are known all over the world world as a genuine proper artist. But I think it's not only about variation or meaning or style of anime art. I think it also has to do heavily with what art teachers and art schools are trying to teach you. Art teachers and art schools fundamentally are trying to teach you to draw and not to draw a style. It's about understanding the basics of what makes a drawing. The rules you need to know to improve your drawing and understanding the fundamentals of what makes a particular art style work. And mind you, this isn't just limited to the West. Art teachers and art schools in Japan also follow these sets of rules when teaching you how to draw because the understandings of the fundamentals of art is a universal thing. I'm sure it goes without saying, but most mangakas that have made and big didn't get good at what they did from drawing their waifus every day. Artists can draw because they understand the fundamentals of the art of drawing. And I think it's only when you know those rules that you can start to break them. Artists break these conventional rules to create these different styles. From Picasso's cubism to Dali's surrealism to anime waifuism. That's not a real art genre, but my god, I wish it was. Your art teacher most likely isn't shunning your fan art of Kirito because they don't understand or like anime. It's because drawing these pieces of anime art that is anatomically incorrect with little variation and little meaning before you've even understood the fundamentals of drawing isn't going to improve your art. And I know there are probably some, like, actual anime artists who are saying right now, Uh, I got good at drawing anime art, but I never attended art class or art schools. Then congratulations, I guess you're just a fucking savant at anime art. Unfortunately, not everyone can draw their waifu from the moment they exit their mother's womb. Some of us have to sit in an art class and draw perfect circles all day. Now, at this point, I will come out and say right now that I do not accept the idea of banning anime art in portfolios after, say, you know, all your art classes are finished or you are about to graduate art school. Of course, when it comes to actual school projects that you have to do while you're at school or during classes, then it does ultimately come down to the curriculum and what the specifics are of that project. But personal portfolios for your artist's career should be exempt from any kind of exclusion of style. That means if you're making a portfolio to show potential clients what you can draw, then I think anime art is a completely viable option. You've been through art school, you've ingrained all of the fundamentals of how to get good at drawing into your brain, and you've broken those rules with that understanding in mind. Yes, anime may be niche, but there is also a huge market for anime art, especially in the online world. I mean, sure, your anime art isn't going to end up on the wall of a museum anytime soon, but there are a lot of potential clients online who are waiting to commission your anime art. And look, fundamentally, there might be some exceptions to this problem. Like maybe your art teacher doesn't like your anime art because they're a racist prick. Or maybe you know an art teacher who is completely okay with you drawing anime art and if anything encourages you to draw anime art. And if that is the case, then you should befriend them because they're one dope motherfucker. But I still do think that at the end of the day, anime art 
is a legitimate form of art and it should be embraced more, especially in the West. Put your anime art on sites like DeviantArt for people on the internet to praise and critique or join a manga club at your school if you really want to pursue that kind of style. But while you're at art school or art classes, just keep drawing those perfect circles over and over again. Because art schools and art teachers want you to be a better artist, not a better anime artist. Because any style of art starts from the basics and in order to be a better anime artist, you need to first be a better artist. But guys, let me know what you think about this whole thing. Do you personally agree with this banning of anime art in art schools and art classes, or are you against this whole idea? And if you're an anime artist yourself, or have gone into this situation of showing your art teacher or art class your anime art, then give me your stories on it. Were you ever faced with this problem? Were you okay with this problem? Or was there some other type of story? I want you guys to let me know all that kind of stuff in the comments below. And hey, just to clarify once again, I am not saying that your fan art of me or your anime art doesn't deserve to be praised and whatnot because it should. Anime art is fucking awesome. The fan art you guys draw for me on my Twitter and Instagram is fucking awesome. And if you do have any kind of fan art that you want to share me, then please share it with me because I will look at it. Regardless of whether I retweet it or comment on it or whatever, I do see every single one and I do appreciate every single one. And that's not just me. If you have a different YouTuber that you absolutely love and you want to draw fan art for them, then do it because we all fucking love it. But all I'm going to say is just keep drawing, just keep getting better and don't be afraid to explore your boundaries. And hey, if you're an anime artist out there, then uh, good luck, man. I love the shit that you guys do. Anyways guys, thanks for watching as always. Like and favorite if you enjoy, subscribe for more anime banner, and I'll see you guys next video, whatever I make. Keep watching anime. Ciao!